Let's talk about China. All right, let's talk about it. So it is testing season. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. The students are taking the, I believe it's called the Gao Kao University entrance exams. So these are to get into university in China. Okay. How many kids? 13.5 million oh. kids take it. So that's just like for the kids that are basically like sen- our equivalent of seniors. Uh, or junior, yeah. juniors. Juniors, probably. Yeah. Okay. And so rough equivalent, I don't know if SATs, you have this. SATs. Yeah, sure. What do you think? Two million. Just under two million. Okay. So- there's your comparison. Yeah, definitely no issue there. Moving on. Right. So really interesting, right? The major, just like here in the United States, we've got ChatGPT and Gemini and Claude, right? The Chinese have many proficient models, some of which have made their way over to the US like DeepSeek. Uh, but there are several, right? ByteDance has one, Tencent has one, Alibaba has one. There's a company called Moonshot that's got one. So what have these models done with respect to this testing season? They have temporarily disabled specific AI functions while this test is going on in the country. In China, they did this purposefully. And so when students tried to upload exam questions or use these features, they received messages such as, during the college entrance examination, according to relevant requirements, the question answering service will be suspended. Or, to ensure fairness in the college entrance examination, this function cannot be used during the test period. That's so interesting. So they are they basically have a custom built guardrail that has a time bracket around it. Yep. When a kid is using something that looks like it's related to the assessment, it just says no nope. no go. Right. Even if they're not actually taking the assessment at that time. Huh. Right? Like so I practicing. Right, practicing at home. So interesting. They just it's like shut down for that time period. 